Hey folks, thanks for dropping by the channel. Copters and Crawlers, RC Pacific Northwest. This is Mark. We're inside the RC Mobile here. Yes, we are. And uh, for good reason. I wanted to show you a really good value that I recently found, in my opinion. A really good value. Uh, and it's a charger. I've been having to replace some stuff. I had a Venom Pro 3 charger that I really liked, uh, but I plumb wore it out after three years of use. So I got a new one. Uh, so, uh, the Venom 3, the Pro, the Venom, uh, Pro 3 charger that I had was $70 then. It's about $80 or a little bit more now. Uh, so this I want to show you as a comparison product. Now it's the IMAX B6 AC dual power 80 watt professional balance charger and discharger. Okay. Dual power, six cells, uh, capable temperature sensor, discharge uh, function, uh, it'll microprocessor controlled, it'll do a number of different batteries, it'll do everything that my Venom Pro 3 did, it does it all. It's a four, ba a four button charger, and it does, it does it all. All right, uh, there we go. Battery type, also stop on the left button. Uh, to decrease uh, is the middle left button to increase is the is the right uh, middle button to decrease you know the values that you're entering like your uh, charge rate so like that and then there's a start button there uh, which is also enter uh, you can see that Ly uh, lion lipo and lifey one to six cells uh, nickel cadmium nickel metal hydride one to 15 cells uh, charge rate uh, one, 0 0.1 to 6 amp discharge rate 2 amp and so on it's got a temperature sensor all right, so let's pull it out of the box now that we've got a kind of a general general description here. All right, so there we are. Now, uh, not much is in here. Uh, the, part, the things that I'm not using right now are the only things in this box. So this is the AC charge uh, charger uh, transformer, I think it's called, and the cable. So there's your AC stuff in my hand right there. All right, and then, yeah, sorry about that. There it is, there's the AC stuff there. Uh, along with that. Okay, and then... All right, and then the only other thing else in here is some connectors that I'm not using, but I'm going to pull them up to show them to you. All right, put this over here now. All right, so then, uh, so I've taken the things out of the box, and I've put them into my own little kind of box here. Now, I've ordered from Amazon a really nifty uh, uh, fire and explosion-proof uh, lipo battery-safe uh, bag, fabric bag, and it's big enough to hold... Uh, the charger too, especially since this charger is so small, and I'll show you that in a minute. Now here's the charger itself. Now this charger is how, geez, this charger is about a third of the size and weight of the Venom Pro 3. Um, so that just makes it all the easier to uh, to store, including fitting in that new uh, battery safe bag I was just talking about. So there you go, uh, small, there's my hand. There's my hand, and there is the charger. Focus, there we go, see, so it's pretty small. Pretty small. Um, okay, now here's, uh, so there's that. Let me put this up here for a second. Again, I've got this temporarily in this box to, to organize. Now here's a couple connectors I'm not using. I don't even know what the hell kind of adapter that is, folks. Or what the heck? I don't even know, but it, but you get one. Everything's Dean's to whatever. Okay, so I'm not using that one. Set that down. Uh, this is a alligator clip to Dean's. Not sure what that's for, but you know, set that down. Okay, I had to blow a, I had to blow a fly off my and okay now uh now in this little bag it's just a ziploc bag i've got both everything i'm that i'm using for the for this charger in, uh, including the cables and i've also got uh keeping my batteries in here too and this this is marked charged so anything that's charged goes in this bag with the cables and i've got another bag that says discharged and obviously anything that's discharged goes in there that way there's no confusion on what's what now these are the cables that i am using now i'm going to show you how, uh, one of the things that's so great about this uh so i'll take this here I'll take this here and uh we're going to put here. I got a bungee cord wrapped around the headrest on the passenger side on my trusty Ford tour station wagon here. So here's what I do. Because I, I like to come out to the field in the morning and fly all day, crawl all day, whatever. I'm going to do it, you know, all day. <laughs> okay, so I sit that in there like that. Okay. I sit that like that. Okay, that's the first thing I do. And uh, I already showed you all the buttons and stuff on the box. So we'll, we'll, we won't look at that uh, on the unit because, you know. We got that done. Okay, so now I'm gonna come down here and get. Let's see, I'm gonna charge my uh, my uh, what? So I'm gonna charge my 
my uh, uh, crawler battery, let's say. So in that case, there's a JST connector, uh, which then plugs into the charger, and that's for my uh, for my uh, Blade 230S helicopter. Okay, put that here. These ones that I don't use, I'm actually going to take them out here, so I put them aside. Put them aside. Oh, here's one for your receiver too, Dean's two receiver. Okay, put that over there. Okay, so now, uh, so let's say I want to charge my crawler battery, which is a Red Cat Racing Everest 10, which I freaking love. So there's the battery for that. All right. Now it has the uh, goofy uh, Red Cat connector, which only fits another Red Cat connector. Um, but I made a cable. I took a cable that I wasn't using with banana plugs. Uh, I took a cable I wasn't using, uh, snipped off the end that I wasn't using, and simply uh, uh, securely uh, uh, electrical taped uh, this on, All right? So I can charge my so I can charge my uh, crawler battery. So we'll go up here. And down here, oh, I got this upside down. No, I don't. I got it right up. Now up here, see that? You can see uh, there. So I'll put my red into my red. This there, and I'll put my black into my black right there. Here, let me get... There we go. Okay, so there we go. We're plugging in like we should be. Yeah, red, red, black, black. Also, you can see here it says positive, red, negative, black. Okay, there's my end. All right, so I come out over here and I grab my battery. In this case, my nickel metal hydride for my... I stick this in the Velcro, too. Uh, this battery, again, is for my Red Cat Racing. Whoa, hold on. I screwed up the whole, whole thing here. Hold on. My, my uh, bungee's coming off. Hold on. All right. Let's try it again. Sorry about the uh, black screen there. Okay, so I had to resecure the charger. The whole thing was falling apart. Okay, so I resecured the charger with the uh, with the uh, Red Cat Racing connector on it. I got the battery wedged in there. So now I'm just gonna plug these two together, make sure my polarity's right. So let's see, red wire on the bottom in both cases, yeah. So I'm gonna set the phone down again for a second. You're gonna get black screen, hold on. All right, so we'll plug in the battery. Boom. So there's our, uh, there's our nickel metal hydride battery for the Red Cat Everest 10 crawler. There's the charger, uh, sitting on a bungee in the headrest of a passenger seat. Okay, then we're going to come over here and we need to get the uh, power cable for the charger. Here's the power cable for the charger. So we got a couple of banana clips, uh, alligator clips rather. And then the other end uh, goes into the charger Ooh, right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plug that in. Uh, so right there is where this goes, right there. Okay. Now, I removed the uh, lens from, and the, one of the bulbs from my dome light on the, on the right-hand side. So I'll take the negative here. Uh, actually, yeah, I've got this in here backwards, upside down and all that. So let's uh, put the camera down again. Sorry about this. All right, yeah, I put it in back asswards. I'm sorry about that. I need to have some more coffee. All right, now. Oh, wait, so that's how it is. Now we've got our, our cable running from uh, to our battery. It's there. And then we want our power here because i got to be close to my dome light power source. So we'll plug that in right there. Okay, so I got my power cable plugged in there on the top. Got my wire running to my alligator clips. Now we take the negative one and hook it to the negative terminal of this uh, dome light, which is like this. Okay, make sure it's uh, make sure there's some slack on the cable, and then go ahead and clip it on. So this is what I'm doing. This is not the most professional setup in the world. I don't know if you can see this, so I'm sliding it and insulation up there. Then the same thing for the positive. It's going to go right up there. There you go. Come on now. Essentially, since I'm doing video, nothing is cooperating. That's normal. Not really normal. Okay. Make sure it's secure and then move the insulation. Dealio is up here like this. So make sure there's no, no problem. 
problems, okay? That comes down to here. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my key in the uh, ignition. Come on, focus camera, would you? Oh man, okay, so let's go up here to the ignition. Put in the key. There we go, on, clock working, yes. All right, now we come up here, hit this switch. And there's our chargers, come on. All right. Now, let me get a better angle here. Here we go. Okay, is this thing all the way? Okay. Okay, so now... All right, there you go. So we're going to need to uh, select the battery type. So we're going to go here, where it says battery type, and we're going to press that. Right now we're at LiPo. LiPo. Nope, keep going. Nickel metal hydride, yeah, but we'll keep going to show you the other ones. All right, so nickel metal, right. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And it's starting. Nickel metal hydride charge, charging at one amp. And it doesn't give you kind of the, the it, uh, unlike other, unlike lipos, you do not get a showing of what the voltage is at and and how and, and how long it's been charging. Um, you just get this, right? And then when it's done, it goes off. So there you go. But there's an alarm that tells you when the battery's done. Uh, let's take a quick look at the manual. All right. So there you can see that that's that's how we got it set up in the RC mobile. I can charge anything right here. Well, I'm. Working on air, uh, while I'm working on helicopters or trucks or whatever, I can do that. Okay, now, um, just one more thing I was going to show. What was it? Oh, yeah, the manual. The manual. We just want to show the manual, then we'll be done. I'll be done with this. All right, here we go. There's the manual. Oh, and I got to tell you the best part. I got to tell you the price on this because uh, that's my, one of the best parts. There it is IMAX Model B6 80 watt instruction manual. We'll just flip through this real quick and then I'll give you the price information. And uh, if I knew how, how to do it, you know, I'm a, I'm, I hate to, you know, talk like an old guy, but uh, I'm 63 and, and I have no idea how to uh, put the link on uh, on with this video. Otherwise, I'd put the link for this product on Amazon. Okay, so there's your uh, introduction, specifications, uh, special features. Again, we're just flipping through this. Uh more special features, all the things. You can do everything that I've ever seen uh, you can do. And I've, you know, on a four-button charger. All right. This camera loves to not focus. Okay. Keep going. More good stuff. Warnings and safety procedures. Continued on this other side. More warnings and safety notes. More warnings and safety notes. Okay, this is pages and pages. Of warnings and safety notes. Uh, actually, you know, it looks like each. Well, anyway, I don't know. Anyway, this shows how to actually use the charger here. This shows. Okay. This shows. This is a little table here. Shows all the different features. A better light on there. This shows all the different features that this charger uh, has, and how to get to each one of them. Uh, focus, please. Won't do it. Okay, this ZTE phone, I don't like it. Okay, anyway, that just shows you all the features and how to get to each one from the menu screen. That's helpful. Uh, this is also shows you how to get to each thing and how to use each uh, function or feature. Okay, so there you go. You get the idea. See, you get a fully comprehensive manual that shows you with text and uh, some graphics of the screen here. Shows you how to do whatever you want to do. All right, then, so there you go. Um, okay, so... Is this actually charging? No, it's not. I gotta hold it now. I'm goofy. I'm goofy this morning. I see. I was talking about a minute ago how it wasn't showing the voltage and stuff like that. It's because I haven't had my coffee yet, and uh, I forgot to, you know, hold start. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's already full. No, it's not. What's it saying? Why is it doing that? Uh, I don't know. Full. It is full. See that? Full. Oh, I forgot this battery's already full. <laughs> Yeah, this battery's already charged. I was just hooking it up for demonstration purposes. 
So, but that's cool. The alarm went off. It says full here. Uh, shows you what the final voltage was, etc. So you hit uh, stop here, and you can un and I can uh, unplug my power here and disconnect all the other stuff. Turn off my dome light. Take out my key. Take out my key. Do -do 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 -do, like that, and then I'm all charged up and ready to go. And then I can uh, obviously disconnect my battery and stuff like that. Disconnect this. Put this back in this little place in here. You know, and then the battery's charged. I put it in the charged bag. Okay. Like I said, I showed you in the opening the uh, things that come with it, which is uh, basically the AC adapter. Yeah. Uh, the manual we took a peek at. And then this is a look at the charger again up close. Okay. Now, the price on this charger... You ready? Are you sitting down? Alright. Price on this on this charger, which does everything full function. Now, the only thing, the only thing, the only thing that I can find that this charger does not have is a cooling fan. Uh, the cheaper ones have one cooling fan. The better ones have a cooling two cooling fans, one for intake and one for exhaust. Now, this has no cooling fan, all right? But the whole damn case is a heat sink. It's an aluminum heat sink. The whole case is, right? Vents it down here. Uh, it's got some nice little feet there, too, as you can see. Uh, oh, and there's your balance charging inputs. Didn't show that. Uh, so the whole damn case is a heat sink. Uh, and it's got a temperature sensor in it. So the whole damn case is a heat sink, number one. Number two, I've used this to charge my uh, LiPo for the 230S and my big old nickel metal hydride uh, 2000 milliamp hour for the uh, Red Cat Everest 10 crawler. This case doesn't even get warm let alone hot. Does not even get warm, let alone hot. Neither does the battery, quite, quite frankly. Okay, so there you go. So there you go. $33 and change for totally, fully functional uh, four-button charger uh, that takes up no space at all. Uh, charges, you know, it's it's, uh, it's great. It's great. It, it's You can run it off your car. It's an 80 amp. That doesn't stand here, uh, but it's an 80 amp. Uh, it, it's working great for me in my uh, in my uh, Ford Taurus station wagon. Working really, really great. So there you go, folks. Uh, just thought I'd make a video about uh, what I consider to be the, the really super duper great value uh, of this charger. Uh, okay, so there it is. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Mark at Copters and Crawlers RC Pacific Northwest. Signing off for now. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. And I uh, hope you have a great day. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye now.